Well, amazing, right there, the transformation of Kibarani dump site into a place of inspiration. And moving on to matters affordable housing in the country, Pan-African Housing Development Financial Shelter Africa has entered into a strategic partnership with fintech startup iBuild Global. They will collaborate in sourcing for funding for affordable housing and managing its housing projects in member states. The iBuild will also assist Shelter Africa to raise capital for a fund to be created to specifically provide construction finance to contractors and developers. All right, at this particular moment, I want to shift our conversation into Marty's tourism. After watching that inspirational story uh, from Tobias Chanji in Mombasa, we ask ourselves right now, at this edge and time, uh, as a country where we stand right now, are we exploiting our tourism resources you know, to the maximum? And I want to take a look at the interlinkage between tourism and academia. And right now, I'm joined by a gentleman, Dr. Cecenio, who is an academician uh, in the field of tourism. He told me that you studied tourism from 1997. Oh, yes, wow. 1997. 1997, that, quite, that's, that's, quite some time now. That's quite and, some time, uh, sir. Yeah, mm. from... Uh, from bachelor's to mm -hmm. master's to doctorate. Wow. Oh my. Amazing. <laughs> so many years mm. of, of study. And that's where we raise the question yes. in, in regards to, you know, the relationship between, you know, the tourism sector and the academia sector. Where do we stand uh, as a country as we speak right now? Um, academia is such a young, uh, in, 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 in tourism is such a young industry or um, discipline compared to other disciplines like um, um, young agriculture and all the other, other kind of uh, disciplines we talk about. Mm -hmm. And um, we can talk about uh, like uh, from the last uh, mid 90s, that is when we started having tourism as a discipline in this country by more university. Mm -hmm. And so before then, we used to have people managing tourism from maybe um, people in economics, yeah. uh, business. From different fronts. From different fronts. Mm -hmm. And so the entry of more university to provide um, hospitality and tourism training at bachelor's level mm -hmm. has really contributed immensely mm -hmm. to what Kenya is going to be mm -hmm. in terms of managing and running of tourism affairs in the future. Definitely. And uh, it's, it's very important to know that, you know, uh, one of the ways to make proper policies yes. as a country is to be able to do proper research. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right now, as, 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 as we speak, yes. a, in regards to the research fund in the tourism sector, yes. uh, you know, in the academia sector, rather, yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be specific on matters tourism, yes. are we doing much research? And what has been done so far? You've done a PhD in tourism. Yes, um, I can tell that, um, like in Kenyatta University, where I am a lecturer, we have around 300 um, in terms of postgraduate students. Mm -hmm. uh, those who are continuing, those who are graduating, and we are churning uh, masters and PhDs every year, mm -hmm. and every graduation actually. And um, these people are doing research, mm -hmm. deep research in tourism, product and design, uh, service and delivery. And, and all this, even cultural tourism and diversification, branding, all sorts of uh, research is going on. Mm -hmm. And this is going to assist a lot in terms of how tourism is run. Remember, uh, before how tourism was run in this country was kind of la what we call laissez affair in mm -hmm. French. It was just left to run itself. Yes. And businessmen would not be interested in, term, in matters like um, conservation, yes. matters of sustainable tourism, alternative tourism was not part of them. Mm -hmm. And so we were destroying a lot of our um, you know, uh, resources mm -hmm. without, but without conserving them. Mm -hmm. Places like uh, what we have right now, Mao, mm -hmm. and that uh, has a great impact on um, Masai Mara ecosystem, for example, yes. is uh, something that would have been thought before if tourism researchers were allowed and given space. But right now we are seeing because of the information that we're getting, we are getting more of uh, things that 
deal with conservation of the beach front mm -hmm. of um, you know national parks and museums and the culture uh, coming into play yes. and uh, if we can collaborate with the media and other players yes. soon we shall be able to disseminate a lot of studies that have been done yes. by academia especially Kenyan University we have quite a number and of course more university which was a mother of tourism in mm. this country yes, yes definitely and wrapping up in the interest of time so yes. just uh, closing up mm -hmm. uh, what can you know the tourism sector in brief tourism mm -hmm. sector yes. do to the academia you know sector well symbiotic relationship here because uh, we have um, a academia contributing to tourism development yes. all those masters and bachelors and diplomas we are churning out from academia yes. they are going into the field to to support management of tourists sustainably yes now the industry is also supposed to plow back into academia mm -hmm. and you know what I used to happen in the Kenya uh, catering levy uh, trustees the, the, yes. the amount the two percent okay. mm -hmm. that was always used to support the training of uh, tourism and hospitality um, in Utali College, yes. I think there is a, a review of law that allows now that Definitely. fund to be used mm -hmm. to for all the training institutions that are doing now oh, yeah. training of uh, hospitality and tourism, and that yeah. will help in terms of funding research yes. and funding the training, oh, okay. so that we have competent people offering. Uh, great uh, stuff that we that that we have in Kenya. Definitely. Remember, Kenya, we have only yeah. a small bit, uh, two million tourists over one point eight billion tourists. So there's a globally. lot to be done in that oh, yes. front. Oh yes. Definitely. Thank you very much, Dr. Cisenio, for putting this in perspective in chat in such a short time. I Welcome. Appreciate that. Welcome. Oh, perfect. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, so Thank there's you. so much growth, so much room for growth in the you know tourism front, and uh, that is what. We are discussing today with Dr. Cicinio on that regard. Uh, my time is up right here on business today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Nokip Kimboy. Up next, we're going to be having BU, yeah, KTN with Cecilia. Okay, sure.